So I'm not even calling out YouTubers. The whole reason I even was even responding to the Jake Paul situation was the dude did a YouTube video. I'd have to find it, but somebody had sent it to me where he was talking shit about me and Badu. At the end of the day, this dude's a fucking clown. Excuse my language, but... No, hey, hey, it's bro, the it, pisses, look, it, it pisses me off when you got guys like myself that have dedicated and sacrificed yeah. their entire lives to pursue this sport. Then you get some fucking guys like Jake Paul. Hey, man, if you, on a business aspect, you're getting in from your side, hey, come in and make good money, do exhibitions. But for you to come in, you know, and all of a sudden just want to fight professionally... I don't really agree with that, man. I feel like it's a big slap in the face and a discredit to the sport. I feel like it's a big slap in the face and a discredit to the fighters. Um, and the whole, only reason I even would agree to fight that guy in a professional fight, just because I want to shut him the fuck up. The dude is very immature, and he talks a whole lot of shit. And you even got me riled up thinking about the dude right now because I just can't stand him as a person. I don't think he's a, a solid person. And him putting my name in his mouth is the wrong fucking decision. So that's all I got to say. So I made that post, called this dude out. He thinks he's so good. He's, you know, he's fighting guys that really have no experience. Come and get in the ring with somebody like myself that got experience, and I promise you I'm going to give you an L. You know what I mean? He's 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 glamorizing and bragging about knocking out my dude Nate Robinson. Heart goes out to Nate and his family. Thank God he's okay. But I'll sleep Jake Paul in ways that people ain't never seen. The dude ain't shit. Enough said. You heard it from a beast, man. I mean, when you got the beast in his cage and you rattle that cage, uh, you're gonna get the whip, man. So we go. How close is that fight being made? Is it is it just? Uh, uh, what word of mouth of uh, Jake uh, Paul? Man, this dude's a sucker, bro. You guys know as well as I do, he got to have a big pair of balls that want to agree to fight me. He's calling out people to just try to get clout off of other people's little gravy train. And <laughs> he, he's not ready to fight somebody like myself. You know, he, he wants an easy fight. He's fought guys that, you know, have, didn't really have too much experience, you know. So to answer your question, that fight's not really – any closer than it was yesterday. In my in my mind and being in this game, nothing really means absolutely anything until you have a contract in front of you. So until I get a contract, we're not making no no segue, man. But if the opportunity happens, be more than happy to take it. And the only reason I would even be willing, because in, in my mind, I'm always thinking about fighting up. I just, at my position, how many people at 13 mil would, take a, a big chance and risk to fight a former Olympian and two division world champion. So in my mind, I'm always thinking about fighting up because I want to fight and ultimately get a, a world title. And in order to get a world title to be the best, you got to fight the best. So with all that said, I don't usually and never have fought guys with lesser fights than me or at a lower level in my career because it on a business level, it doesn't make any sense. We have nothing to gain, but when it comes to Jack, Oh, I, uh, I would love to take that fight just to really, you know, get him to shut up, man. I can't stand the dude's demeanor or his personality.